Hi guys! Welcome to my class! Please subscribe so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. Our lesson for today is about line plots. But before we proceed to our main lesson, I would like to share with you something about Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nahayan, the Crown Prince of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. He is also the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. Like his father, he is an exceptional leader who is admired and respected by the people not just here in the UAE but across the globe. He is the driving force behind the UAE's activist foreign policy and is a leader of the campaign against Islamist movement in Arabia. Because his brother Sheikh Khalifa was Sikh, he was entrusted with most day-to-day decision-making in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi as the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. Do you know that the New York Times named him as the most powerful Arab ruler? In 2020, the New York Times called him as one of the most powerful men on earth. And by Time Magazine, he was named as one of the 100 most influential people of 2019. Like his father Sheikh Zayed, he is also known for his exceptional humanitarian and philanthropic effort to support charitable and community activities. Do you know that he has contributed billions of dollars to many humanitarian causes? The Crown Prince has donated 55 million dirhams to the United Nations Global Initiative in order to combat human trafficking. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has also provided funding to buy the vaccines for children in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Bill Gates even tweeted an incredible news. He said that the UAE has made a $30 million commitment to end polio for good. To be exact, that was last June 12, 2017. The humanitarian action of Sheikh Zayed was still alive because of Sheikh Muhammad. It will never be stuck here in UAE. If you are selfish and your heart is full of hatred, you cannot give. But Sheikh Muhammad's heart is pure and clean. Sheikh Muhammad saved and until now he is trying to save a lot of people from dreadful diseases. The UAE sent humanitarian aid and support to many countries especially these difficult times of pandemic. I am always telling you the qualities of our UAE leaders so that we can follow their footsteps. We want the world to be a better place to live in, right? And our UAE leaders are always upright and a role model. So, let us follow their footsteps. Now, let us move to our main lesson. Our main objective today is to make and analyze line plots. A line plot is a graph that displays data as points, X's, or check marks above a number line, showing the frequency of each value, like what is shown in the example below. Let us call the measures of center. Mean is the average of the numbers. Median is the middle of the sorted list of numbers from smallest to biggest. Mode is the number which appears most often in the set of data. The first quartile is the middle number between the smallest number and the median. And the third quartile is the number between the median and the largest number. Let me show you an example so that you will be guided. Let us recall the mean, median, mode, outlier, 
first quartil and third quartil in the given line plot. To find the mean, you are going to add all the values of the x's divided by the number of the x's. And in this case, the mean is 5.23. To find the outlier, it is the number that is far from the set of data that are close to each other. And in this case, you can see from the line plot, the outlier is 10. To find the median, you are going to arrange all the data from smallest to largest. Then, you are going to cut out from both sides the numbers starting from the outside until you get into the middle number which is the median. The smallest number is the minimum and the largest number is the maximum. Then, you can find the first quartile, which is the middle number, from the minimum up to the median. And the third quartile, the middle number also, from the median up to the maximum. We can find the mode by looking at the number which occurs most often in the set of data. And in this case, 6 is the number that occurs most often. That is the mode. Let us work on this example. Gala asked her classmates the number of books they read during vacation. She found out that her classmates reads 5, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, and 1. Make a line graph and describe the data presented in the graph. Actually, we are going to draw a line plot by making a number line first, then marking all the values on the top of the number line using X's. You can see from the line plot that 9 classmates were asked, and 2 classmates read 1 book, another 2 read 5 books. To find the median, we are going to arrange all the data from least to greatest and then mark all the numbers from both sides starting from the outside until we get into the middle. And in this case, 3 is the median. The middle number between the minimum and the median is the first quartile. And the middle number between the median and the maximum is the third quartile. To find the mean, we are going to add all the values of the x's divided by the number of the x's. And in this case, it will give us 3. 3 is also the mean. And 3 is also the median. Now, let us work on this example. Miss Amira had a survey on her class regarding the number of baby camels they have. Make a line plot of the data given and describe the data presented in the graph. To make a line plot, we are going to draw a number line first. Then, we are going to mark all the values on the line plot using X's. You can see that 20 students answered Ms. Amira's question. There are 4 X's on the 0. Therefore, 4 students don't have baby camels. You can see that there is no X on number 5. Therefore, no one has more than 4 baby camels. 5 students have 1 and 2 baby camels. This represents the mode. Therefore, 1 and 2 are the mode. Remember guys, a line plot is a graph that displays data as points, X's, or check marks above a number line, showing the frequency of each value, like what is shown below. The mean is the average of the numbers. Median is the middle of the sorted list of numbers from smallest to biggest. The mode is the number which appears most often in the set of data. The first quartile is the middle number between the smallest number and the median. And the third quartile is the number between the median and the largest number. 
Let us recall again the mean, median, mode, outlier, first quartile, and third quartile. To find the mean, you are going to add all the values of the excess and divide by the number of the excess. And you can get the mean. To find the median, arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest. The middle number in the set of arranged values from smallest to biggest is the median. The smallest number is the minimum and the largest number is the maximum. The middle number between the minimum and the median is the first quartile. And the middle number between the median and the maximum is the third quartile. The number that occurs most often is called the mode. And to find the outlier, look for the number that is far from the set of values close to each other. In this case, 10 is the outlier. I will never stop reminding you what Sheikh Zayed wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. If you have confusion on some part of the lesson, I want you to go back. Light up your way. Watch it again, slowly, carefully, and I know you will get it. Life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you can convert the negatives into positive. So, don't be negative. Don't give up. I know you can make it. I want you to discover your undefined smartness. You have it, guys. Score high in math. Till next lesson. Good luck. God bless.